In many ways, Istanbul's Grand Bazaar remains much as it was centuries ago, enchanting and perplexing visitors with its maze-like network of more than 4,000 colorful shops, fragrant eateries, and insistent shopkeepers. Now it's your turn. Uh -huh. <laughs> what do you have? Is it possible to show me something you don't need? Show me something I don't need. That would be very nice. Have some fun with these guys. You have more than you need. I'm a lucky man today. <laughs> a special price? Despite the tourists and the knickknacks, the heart of the Grand Bazaar still beats, giving the observant visitor an unforgettable memory. In its day, this labyrinthian warren of shops under fine arches was the world trade center for the entire Ottoman Empire, locked down and guarded by more than 100 soldiers every night. Today, the main drag is touristy, but the complex is so big it's still easy to escape the tourist zones and discover some authentic nooks and crannies. Surprises await in the low-rent fringes of the market. A commotion of shouting marks the bazaar's poor man's Wall Street. These currency brokers are frantically swapping fortunes of euros, dollars, and Turkish lira for their clients. Others put their fortune in gold. The many jewelry shops are a reminder that Turks love gold, not because they're vain or greedy, but because it's considered a practical and tangible place to store their wealth. Around the corner, surrounding a humble courtyard, sooty smiths labor before furnaces. They're melting gold offcuts and sweepings from nearby jewelers' workshops back into a pure and more usable form. 